Hello, welcome back to Tuk's Craft Table. Uh, today will be our second steps uh, to make this cover. I have a um, uh, question from Dawn, I think. Um, she asked uh, what kind of paint that I use to paint these. I use acrylic paint, any cheap acrylic paint like this. This is what I use. This uh, sergeant is very reasonable on Amazon. And uh, so what I did, um, so I went ahead and paint and let it dry overnight. And uh, I ink, I ink the cover. I cut to to size and I ink it. So today we're gonna glue these together. Oh, another one she asked me, white glue that I use is the um, Alien Tacky Glue. I bought <laughs> this size and then I poured it in that uh, container. So it is the original Tacky Glue. This is like cheap, way cheaper than buy a little bottle at the time. And uh, so I thought I'll save money by buy a bunch and then just put it in the jar and and use it that way. Okay, let's start um, one at a time. The cover. What I usually like to do is um, use I use white glue for my cover and. Um, I use the fabric, no, the three-in-one around the the edge, so it stay stick nice and strong. I will speed up this part so you don't have to watch me gluing. Okay, this is the signature or a dashboard. So remember we did this yesterday and we let it dry. This is the inside spine ready for us to sew. So I prepare a few things ahead of time because a lot of cutting. Um, so you just have to pick and choose whatever fabric that you have or you like but I'll show you what I do a little bit different from uh, the previous one because of I only have one of this one left so I use different one and then you'll see but the cutting is the same on the paper okay so we need to cut three pieces of paper. Um, so these cut two, four and a half, uh, time eight and a half. Remember, this height would be exactly the same as the the cover. So this time I didn't leave any room for for the dashboard to be smaller. Um, and uh, this is in centimeters so cut two of these we're gonna use one for the front and one for the back um, 
I doubled this up because um, for the back um, if you have a thicker cardboard you don't need to but this is the vanilla file folder so I doubled it up because it need to be strong this doesn't need to be doubled it up because it will be a pocket in the front right so it's it will be strong already if I double up like this so it's basically the same thickness so cut two of that and cut one of these um, the reason is uh, sh uh, narrower because the pocket in the front I want it to have um, uh, different height like the f the one that I made it's equal it's the same like this so but this one I want it to be uh, a shorter one a smaller one narrower one you see why um, so I'll show you my design that I want to do at the back basically this is so I have to cover them all up and uh, this is whoops this is the remnant that I want to do like that and because of the, the different of fabric fr uh, front and back so I don't want it to be um, awkward looking so I have this piece that left over so that I want to tie them in so they have similar trim so so this is the plan for me to do um, so this side I do not have uh, plastic but in the back if you flip over oops. so I've been preparing so just it's harder for you to see of the um, the plastic so I I kind of sew the trim on top of the pocket as well so it will be like that okay you can imagine right you can draw your picture with me <laughs> and this is like um oh okay so I can do something different for here um, what I'm I am planning to do I'm gonna cover these don't confuse with me <laughs> um, so this is how I iron it so it has the guideline the fabric cut the length and width uh, cut the way you wanted it because um, make sure you leave enough room to cover uh, to fold in not cover to fold in but um, I would do like this on this one and then I would fold it down this way so when we sew we won't see the edge right so we won't see the edge of the, the paper just uh, roughly for you to see what I'm planning to do this. and this part gonna be inside pocket so what I plan to do I'm planning to I have this corner like that and to cover all the mess like that so I will sew in this is the first one right and this one it will be for this one which is need to be cover you see the iron crease that's um, would help to see the guy line where to fall and that would be this page and I make this belly band because there's lots of trim left so that and then this will be the cover and uh, these will sew together and it will turn into pocket 
like the first um, like uh, similar to the one um, I made before so this will be belly band and this is would be the pocket okay and I also have this corner to sew in here and we will sew three pockets here and here I mean you can leave this open or you can sew it along the the pattern here that would be nice so that's um that's my plan to do okay let's me go to the sewing machine and do this first one first it's easier so what what am i going to do um to help you um so it's easier i um you can use glue stick to glue down the fabric we will we can glue down um fabric just um not like everywhere just uh, you can avoid the edge you see the masking tape here i i'm put it down there because there's some writing there so it's i don't want it to see through sewing machine and sew this down okay and I'll be right back like that now we need to cover this part and smooth This is the right side. So what we're going to do, we're going to sew these. this trim that we want to match that together just now at this stage what you're gonna do you're gonna go to the machine so all around okay um i mean you don't have to sew here but um, you can sew from here along but not out here but sew as, as close as to that p 
piece of um, the edge of that piece of uh, cardboard as much as you can and then so close on this end okay and then you can okay I'll be right back I'm back and my sewing machine is not happy <laughs> right here it give me an odd and and when I glue, I pull down. So be be careful if you have a pattern fabric. Make sure your pattern straight. Um, so this one, I pulled it down, so it's not really straight. So that is our page for this front page. It's going to be complicated to explain. So, what we would do first, we would do the first, the top part, okay? The top part is um, simple. So, I would just glue it together. We don't need to sew it down yet because all can be sewn in at once. So we don't have a lot of uh, sewing to go through the paper. Uh, so let's glue this. This is just a handkerchief, um, so I just cut one corner. I used two, two of these handkerchief, um, cut one in the corner and then any edge trim I use it, I sew them in together to make this banner. So, whoops, I think I have to, yeah, okay, that's supposed to go that way, okay, ready to assemble. Now this is the complicated one. Okay, let's do this part first. This is gonna be just so again it's gonna be this pocket it's gonna be this page the front page okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna sew this part first
let's see if we can get three pockets just like the other one this one right here this one right here and this one I'm just gonna follow this part okay now I'll be right back I'm back so what I did I just sew one pocket here and one pocket here and this pocket I just go around the edge and then go all the way here but not here you will see why I don't sew there let's trim off the Okay, that's see we see a mess here. We need to cover this up. But before we need to cover that up, we need to add our top. Let's see. This glue just remember it's just a temporary temporary. this part up here so we can cover I will trim this off a little bit so when we attach to the signature it's not too too thick So from here, let's see how we can make it nice. We can bring it in like that and maybe we can glue that down. Again, this is just temporary. Once we sew the stitch, the stitch will hold everything. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the machine and sew pattern or along here. It will show here and hopefully it won't catch this. I think I, I leave enough room. Okay, I'm back. And that's the stitch you get from this end. Okay, I think you got uh, some some idea right and how this work so 
Next step is to put these together and assembling it as the pocket. The whole thing. Whoops. Where is that coming from? <laughs> I mean, you you guys can decide uh, how you want it to lay out too, right? You don't have to do exactly the same as my design. So, but this is going to be like this. You can put it in. As a, and then there's a banner. And that's the pocket. And when you look at on this side, you get these three pocket as well. So I'm going to go back to the sewing machine again. So I'm going to sew from here, down here, and up. Okay, so all, all layer would be attached to each other. That is so thick. I don't know if <laughs> my machine's going to go. Okay, we'll see. I'm back. So I did it, but the machine's not that happy. <laughs> so all the layers sew together. And this is the pocket. Okay. And that's the closure. Also, you can have as, as a belly band. You can tuck stuff in here. So what we did, we got these two pages together and now I just need to make sure I have these clean up a little bit so what I would do I will um, cut out the middle part middle layer so it's not too thick when I sew to the signature be really careful you don't cut the first layer out there. Okay. I'll save that bit. <laughs> Do the same thing with this one. You just want the first two layer. So now we have um, not too thick of a layer. So, okay, I'll be right back. So we bring back this our um, the inside spine. So what we do, we sew this on to our spine. So make sure this is where the the edge. Okay. Now you know why this need to be thin, right? So so it can not clump up when we punch the hole. It's easy. Make sure this is the way you wanted it. Oopsie. This. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go sew it down, um, down here, and then down here, 
to attach to our s and then you get your signature <laughs> your dashboard your first two page and uh, I'll be right back okay I'm back now we attach uh, the page to the spine so this is the, the spine okay and then this is the page so this is what we have this is what um, we're gonna do so we glue that down but before that um, I'm going to do these and then we will stop for the next step this will be for the next step okay so let's do this glue this one first um, usually I just like bend it and to find the center just not bend all the way down but uh, just do the center part first and make sure you do one side at a time and go right into the edge there and we'll stop there okay not, don't come up yet stay down in this groove first and and that is our center I told you guys right I'm a queen of eyeballing <laughs> so what you need to do you need to work into that crease like really really well can use this as a front or you can use this as a front because I didn't <laughs> I didn't measure it so th this is wider this is thinner maybe I think I'm gonna use this as a front so you can keep forming it to go back to the shape of the curved spine I think we got we got this ready for this so tomorrow we will attach everything together okay we'll come um, what I'm gonna do without you guys is that I'm gonna take it outside and spray protect it with these okay um, I'll do two coat so I the sun's still around so I will spray paint it um, and hopefully uh, it will dry and we'll come back tomorrow and we'll finish it off so today we got the signature and done and then the cover almost done okay thank you everybody for coming by and we'll see you tomorrow and finish this off okay bye <music>